Hello again. I have mentioned before that so determined are those who are pushing the fake black history agenda that the foolish lies which they produce end up being accepted as truth by many people. This has happened, of course, with things like the alleged the black Romans and also the Mary Seacole myth. This is a problem for schools, of course, because so many lessons now are based around what teachers can pull off the internet the night before, that it is a racing certainty that this nonsense will end up being peddled to children who don't know any better and will accept what their teacher tells them. The television series Bridgerton brought into the mainstream the mad idea that there have in the past been black kings and queens of England. There is a whole backstory to this, which is that some black power types in the United States think that King Charles II, King James and various other people were actually black and that history has been rewritten by wicked white folks to conceal this important aspect of black history. Don't laugh at the back there, I'm being serious. The thumbnail to this video shows King James as a black African and I give a link in the description to this video to a site which explains how James really was as black as Newgate's knocker. One obvious target for these cranks has been the Black Prince. Well, if he was called the Black Prince, that must be because he was black, right? That also means that his mother, Philippa of Hainault, must also have been black, of course. Both ideas are expounded on American websites and have become accepted among many African Americans who are enchanted at the idea that the British royal family have a touch of the tar brush about them. This kind of thing led directly to the depiction in Bridgerton of Queen Charlotte as a black woman. This has now infected perfectly respectable websites such as that of Cornwall County Council. In the description to this video I give a link to Historic Cornwall, which is the part of the County Council which deals with ancient monuments and historical sites. Click on it and you will read the headline, The Black Prince, England's First Black King. The page is a hodgepodge of bits picked up from various sources and includes photographs taken from a film called The Black Prince, which show a genuinely black prince and Indian prince. Click on the link and scroll through this. This is not the worst example of this sort of thing that I've seen, not by a long chalk, but it's nevertheless very worrying because it is on the kind of website which might be recommended to children as being sensible and mainstream, the sort of thing to use when they're researching their homework. This is why it is so important to fight against fake history of this kind and draw attention to it. Otherwise, a few years down the line, we will find that African-American cranks and extremists will have so flooded the internet with their weird stories that there will be no escape and they will be literally everywhere. As I said at the beginning, this has more or less happened with the Black Romans, who are now to be found in museums and children's history books. Unless we want to see this happening for the rest of English history, we need to act pretty fast. <laughs>